every day, I have the joy of spending my time with people in recovery. Recovery from substance use, trauma, homelessness, mental health challenges. And every day, right before lunch, during community announcements, a woman named Jane leaps out of her chair, announces how much clean time she, ha she has, and says, I have met the love of my life. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I love this. Who wouldn't? And this is especially true for people that are new to recovery and need that extra support. The truth is, the people that we encounter, they're coming from a tragic and tough landscape. Substance use, addiction, is literally killing our country. More people are dying of drug overdoses today than died of AIDS during the height of that tragic epidemic. But we believe that these people don't want to die. They just, they just don't know how to live. My name is David Yule, and I'm the director of the Recovery Cafe Network. For the one in seven Americans that struggle with substance use, we offer a place and a community where they can start to live that new life. See, here's the thing about early recovery. If you're able to stop using or you're lucky enough to get into treatment, that's great. But what comes next? What's that next step? It's often a very lonely place. The people they used to hang out with, it's too risky. And your family, they probably don't trust you anymore. These are when folks relapse and they go back to that place that they never wanted to be again. Recovery Cafe was started 15 years ago to fill that void. We are a place where people can build new connections to find hope, to find stability. Now you and I, our work, our homes, these are our places of belonging. And when we wanna connect with old friends, we can often go to our local coffee shop. But if you're someone who has been struggling with substance use, homelessness, mental health challenges, you may not have a place of belonging. For those who are on that path, Recovery Cafe, we are their place of belonging. Our space radiates with love. When you come through our front doors, you're greeted with warm colors, friendly faces, tasty coffee. <laughs> Everything we do communicates that you matter. Now, as you can imagine, for some, this makes them a little uneasy at first. But over time, they discover that they deserve this type of welcome. Many people think that the opposite of addiction is sobriety, but we believe that the opposite of addiction is connection. When you are truly known, when you are truly accepted, when you are truly loved for who you are, that's, that is when you can begin to imagine a new life for yourself. And imagining that new life for yourself 
you can start discovering or rediscovering that you have gifts to contribute to the world. These gifts, we help people discover them. We empower them. It could be writing nonfiction. It could be running marathons. And we ask every person that comes to Recovery Cafe to contribute to the life of our community, to give back. It could be volunteering in the kitchen or it could be sitting with someone who's having a hard day. But it's in that rediscovery of gifts, in that giving, just as much as in receiving, that people start to live that new life. Now, Recovery Cafe was founded as a response to what was breaking our hearts in Seattle. Not long after that, organizations from around the country said, we need this in our community, in our cities. Our hearts are breaking too. So three years ago, we launched the Recovery Cafe Network to work with those organizations. Today, there are 18 Recovery Cafes serving over 1,500 individuals every month. Our hope is to continue having recovery cafes in every community that needs one, in the US and beyond. And while this vision may seem ambitious, the truth is our hope, our foundation, lies in people like Jane, the woman that I mentioned at the beginning, who every day jumps out of her chair, announces her clean time, and it says that she has met the love of her life. Because here's the secret about Jane. The love of her life is herself. Learning to live a new life, regaining hope in oneself, learning to love yourself, that is the power of what we do. And that is what we make possible every day at Recovery Cafe. Thank you.